how are the Phillips Lovecraft? And before I get to today's question, I, I want to take a moment and let you know about a special event that's taking place over the next several days at facebook.com slash asklovecraft. We're calling it the 12 Days of Lovecraft. Now, every gormless rube knows that the 12 Days of Christmas refers to the period of time after Christmas Day leading up to Epiphany, the day traditionally when Christians celebrate the baby Jesus achieving his final form as of some sort of giant robot or something. But the 12 Days of Lovecraft will be about celebrating artists and writers, musicians and filmmakers, all manner of creative individuals that we have befriended over the three years we have been at this program. It has been one of the most remarkable experiences, and we hope to lend a bit of support to our friends and perhaps give you some last-minute gift-giving ideas. We do hope you'll join us. Now, as for today's question, Sean asks whether or not I think there may be other writers who have been resurrected from the dead, and whether or not they might be operating in secret among us. For example, he gives J.R.R. Tolkien. Uh, perhaps, having returned to the world of the living, he simply changed the J to a George, the Tolkien to a Martin, and continued writing about dragons and incest as if he had never passed away. And it's a curious thesis, but, but not one that, that keeps me up at night. Uh, my, my own uh, resurrection and reanimation was a rather unique affair, and I would not uh, wish it on anyone. And if, for some reason, some other writer did come back to life, and, unlike me, chose to eschew the spotlight, I would not wish to expose them or, or turn the garish eye of public perception upon them. Well, I, I make an exception for Jane Austen, who has been operating under the stage name of Lemmy for the band Motorhead for several years now, but that's hardly been a secret to anyone paying attention. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.